EVETREX is an online tool for you to obtain official military service records. There are other methods to obtain these records, however, we recommend EVETREX since it is easy to use. EVETREX is available through the National Archives website. Once you reach the website, you will be greeted with an introduction screen. Here, you will be given information on privacy and an estimate of how long it takes to complete the program. On average, it takes 5 minutes to complete an EVETREX session. Once you have read the information on the introduction screen of EVET Rex, you can click the Continue button to start the system. Please note that the program uses a four-step process. This video will take you through all four steps of the application. You can easily identify which step we are in by looking at the top left side of the screen. On each screen, you will also be provided with numbered questions. Now that you're familiar with some of the basics of EVET Rex, we can show you how to request your military service records. In step one, you will need to identify if you're a veteran or next of kin to a deceased veteran. Please note that if you select next of kin to a deceased veteran, you must complete an SF-180 form. This form will become available in the right-hand column after you select that you are next of kin. In completing step one, it is important to answer question number three. Most veterans seeking disability benefits will need their former military service records if they are no longer in the armed services. If you are still in active duty, then you should request your current military service information or former military service records if you are serving in a different armed service branch. Once all the questions have been answered, you can click Continue on the right of the EVET rec screen in order to proceed to Step 2. Step 2 requires you to answer five questions. If you are having difficulty with question number one, it is because the veteran has served multiple armed service branches, it is important to know that each branch request must be made separately. We will show you how to restart the EVET Rex process again so that you can accomplish another request for a different branch at a later time. For question number four, Select Benefits as the most appropriate category of your request in order to obtain a report of separation. Once you complete all the questions, click Continue on the right of the screen to proceed to step number three. On step three, you will need to provide the veteran's personal information. After completing the necessary fields, click Continue on the bottom right of the screen. Next, you will be asked what kind of documents are requested. Select the undeleted report of separation. Further down in the comments box, you should indicate that you would like to request your personnel and medical records if you do not already have them. Note that you cannot request different armed service branch records in this comment box or it will delay your records request. We will show you how to request these documents for other branches later in this video. Click continue on the bottom right to proceed to the next page. Here you will need to provide a return address where the requested documents should be delivered to. Click Continue after completing the information in order to proceed to step number 4. On step 4, you are given a chance to proofread and confirm that the information provided is correct. If any corrections need to be made, you can click on the previous button in the top left of the screen until you reach the step that needs corrections. If the information is accurate and you would like to submit your request for documents, then click on the Continue button on the top right of the screen. You will be given a signature verification form similar to the one displayed here. It is ideal that you print out and complete the signature verification form. The document request will not be deemed complete until the signature verification is mailed or faxed. If you have a printer, click print on the top left corner of the EVAT rec screen to print the document. If you cannot print the document, you can submit a handwritten letter. Please be sure to include in the letter the service number provided on the top right hand corner of your EVET Rex screen. This service request number will be uniquely generated for your request. Without a printed copy, the handwritten letter must also include the perjury declaration. Date and sign your handwritten letter or printed signature verification form before mailing or faxing the document. If you are mailing the printed copy, the address can be located on the top left of the document. 
handwritten declaration submissions can be mailed or faxed to the number located on the left of the eVetRex screen. After completing all four steps of eVetRex and mailing or faxing your signature verification, you will have completed your military service records request. If you still require records from other armed service branches, you may restart the eVetRex system. This can be accomplished by clicking on the bottom left of the screen a link labeled as To Create a New Request, click here. You may rewatch this video if you need help completing all of the eVetRex steps for a different armed service branch.